this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the parts uh, associated with this activity, 7.4 uh, assembly models, the T9. And this is the assembly and what it looks like when it's completed. I've opened up the file here, the assembly, and I'm going to start by um, Aligning everything to a common to common work planes. Uh, this is the main body of the part, and if you notice, there's uh, work planes associated with it. And uh, this part is grounded. I'm going to start up by meeting this part inside this hole. Turn it over and zooming in and use constraint. I'm going to zoom in and grab this surface here, the edge. I'm going to place it in here. Hit apply. going to align uh, this work plane, do another constraint, and this work plane here. And you notice that when I point to it, there's an arrow pointing out. And I'm going to point to this work plane here. Hit apply. And now I'm going to align this plane here. Constrain uh, that work plane to this work plane here. I'm going to flip it around because the arrows were facing the same direction and hit apply. And you notice now that the uh, part is nested inside the part inside the body of the car. Uh, next, I'm going to do this windshield. Uh, I'm going to select this. No, do my mating operation first. I'm going to select this surface here. And zoom in and mate it to this surface here. I'm going to flip it, flip it around. That's right. And uh, hit apply. And now I'm going to mate uh, this work plane here with this work plane here. Hit apply. And uh, lastly, I'm going to mate uh, this work plane here with this one here. And I'm going to flip it around, hit apply, cancel. I'm going to do uh, these pieces over here, uh, the plastic pieces. That's these over here. I always start out by doing my mates. I'm going to uh, go to constraint. I'm going to make this piece here to the inside of this hit apply. Uh, let's see, let's make uh, this plane with this plane here hit apply. Hit escape so I can move the part a little bit. I'm going to constrain uh, this plane here 
with uh, this plane here, flip it around, hit apply. is constrained. Let's see, now I'm going to make uh, the constraint uh, at this surface here. With the inside this body here. work surface. Flip it around. Hit apply. I'm going to place this center part here. Zoom in and I'm going to uh, grab this surface here. I'm going to mate it with uh, this surface here. And I'm going to flip it around. Hit apply. Strain that surface to that surface, hit apply, and then constrain that surface to. surface. Hit apply. I'm going to make this surface to this. Hit apply. surface to that surface. Need to flip it around. Hit apply. And lastly I want to mate um, that work plane to that work plane. Hit apply. Cancel. Install these wheel axes. I'm gonna zoom in here, and I want to do a constraint and mate uh, this surface with that surface. And apply, and uh, that axis to that axis. And apply. Constraint, but I'm going to do an insert, and I'm going to grab that axis, that diameter, and I'm going to grab this diameter and hit apply, cancel. And that looks correct.
Well, once you're done with your assembly, you can go to turn off all these work planes to clean up your screen. You go to view, object visibility, and turn off user work axis and user work planes. Once you're you're done with your assembly, I want you to print out a screen capture. Go to export PDF and uh, save it as a PDF and submit the PDF to LMS to complete your assignment.